guys this is Saikon and in this video I'll be giving you a review and my experience with index ITPB 11k power bank so basically in the unboxing video I've already mentioned that I'll be reviewing this performance of this gadget so this is what I'm doing now and coming firstly coming to the performance of the device the capacity that is mentioned on the paper was 11,000 milliamp hour battery but in terms of the practical usage you will be getting a capacity of about 9,000 to 10,000 or say 8,000 to 8,500 milliamp hour battery typical output I am saying but in terms of the normal usage you will get about 9,000 to 9,500 milliamp hour battery so I am calculating or I am mentioning this capacity on basis on my usage of the for the device Redmi Note 4 as you all know the Redmi Note 4 device is powered by a battery capacity of 4000 mAh battery it easily charges the device for up to 2 times from 0 to 100% when this power bank is fully charged I mentioned if it is fully charged then you can get a battery backup of about 8000 to 8500 mAh for a typical usage I am saying as I am using the Redmi Note 4 I am getting about 2 times approx for full usage if you are sort of using this devices like Moto E4 and Infocus Turbo 5 Plus which is powered by a heavy battery capacity of 5000 mAh or 4850 mAh battery then you will be able to get a capacity of about oh sorry you will be able to get a uh, number of times of 2 or 1.5 max if you are using in case of Moto E4 Plus or this Infocus Turbo 5 Plus so that is regarding the power output and the performance of the power bank and the one thing i forgot to mention is that it also has a physical led in the, uh, what you call light or torch which can be controlled by using this power button if you double tap it or press this button two times then the led notification will be active as you can see in terms of the accuracy of the power button it's okay not that great but it's okay but it seems to be very delicate in terms of uh, design and quality but you should use it carefully because if you press it one number of times then you may damage this button and you may not know the capacity of the battery remaining so regarding notification light it is not the accurate but it gives an approximate idea about how much battery is remaining in the device now i have fully charged the device so i am getting a full LED notification lit up but if you are having some sort of 75 to 80 percent then this first LED notification light will be lit off it is not that accurate but it gives a major and a brief idea about how much battery percentage is remaining in your power bank and coming to the cable the cable is sort of very small in size but it is okay for a power bank to give a small cable because it will be handy to use and it's okay in terms of quality also because i didn't face any issues regarding the connectivity because at the times when i connect it easily gets connected and the time which it takes to charge my Redmi Note 4 is about two and a half hours to two hours fifteen minutes. That's it. Uh, and for my device like Moto E4 Plus, it takes about three hours because it's powered by a high capacity battery of five thousand milliamp hour battery. So it takes about three hours. And uh, overall, finally, I want to conclude that for the price range of nine ninety nine, the build quality, the capacity of the battery that they are providing is good i'm not saying that this is the best but it is one of the good performer in this price range so the index itpv power bank gets the job done for users who are not having access to the uh, what we call charging for a day and they can easily charge the device for once or twice depending upon the requirement so that it will be easy for them it is for those who, who can charge only for once or twice of the device if they are using the redmi note 4 etc if they are using the devices like me a1 etc then it will be you can get you can charge the device for up to three times so this is my honest review about the intex itpp 11k power bank as per my experience and i don't know i may not know how it will be performing in terms of your experience so it depends upon you and how to judge whether to buy this device or not so this is my opinion guys and this is Saibon signing off hope you like this video please share this video and subscribe to my channel and this is Saibon signing off and hope you to see you in my next video